out here today looking at a new little carbine from CMMG. It's the uh, 45 caliber. We reviewed the 9 millimeter before, so we're just going to do a video update to that review. But uh, has all the same features. Has some uh, nice features on this that the 9 didn't have. This has got a 16 inch barrel, got an effective muzzle brake on it. You one thing, 45 ACP out of a, a 16 inch barrel like this it gives you a lot more velocity. Getting on most loads like the Buffalo Born and Double Tap uh, standard loads and plus PIM, getting like 200 feet per second more than is advertised on the box. With the Ruger ARX, this little lightweight 114 grain um, bullet is very effective the way they shaped the front of that. But I'm getting over 1600 feet per second out of this little carbine with that Ruger. ARX ammo. So that's a good choice too for something that's got real light recoil. If you need a light recoil, I recommend that Ruger ARX. Works well. These uses Glocks mags. This is a Glock 45 mag. Holds 13 cartridges. Give you 14 total. I really like that. There's other length Glock mags you can use in there, but I really like that one. It's got some uh, adjustable buckstock on it. I've got a Trijicon scope on here that's really effective for something like this. That Because the 45 ACP out of a carbine, you're good out to 100 yards even a little better. So I like a little magnification sometimes. This is a, uh, it's a one and a quarter power uh, to four variable. So up close, you can leave both eyes open. You need it inside a building or whatever. It's pretty much no magnification. It's got a lighted reticle in here. It's lit by tritium if you're in absolute dark, or it's got the fiber optic here on the top where it'll uh, vary according to the lighting conditions you're in. Sunlight really lights it up big time. But it's a post uh, reticle with a little chevron on top of it. Works really well. Got it in these Burris rings. These are Z rings. I really like them. They're a steel ring or not some lightweight aluminum crap. Holds it on here really well. <clears throat> the way the uh, action on this works, it's not a gas impingement. What it has is a, it's a, a radial delayed blowback. And what that is, the bolt turns. It locks just like on a regular AR. But um, it's still blowback. But, but that delays it when it's blowing back that uh, radial it's uh, tapered on the back of it, and it slows down that blowback coming off that bolt. Now, if you want to use really hot stuff or run with a suppressor or whatever, they've got a weighted bolt option. Puts a little more weight on that bolt, you can get on there with it. But it all uses that radial uh, delayed blowback, which is real effective for keeping this bolt locked until it needs to open up and eject the cartridge chamber or another one. Other than that, it's uh, pretty much standard AR controls, AR type takedown, that kind of thing. It's got an excellent free float rail on here with uh, plenty of real estate on here to mount whatever you want to. Any kind of mount. It's got Picatinny rail. Other mounts here all the way around it. You can mount different things on there if you want to. I'm not a fan of hanging a lot of stuff on there, but you know, sometimes a, a laser or a white light is pretty effective. But these are available from cmmginc.com. So check them out. they got a variety of different uh, sizes, different barrel lengths and things on these 45s and other cartridges on there you can get chamber from CMMJ but anyway good effective carbine real accurate carbine been shooting it for a couple of days I really like it so we're going to shoot a little bit show you how it's got low recoil and you know that 45 makes a big hole uh, the muzzle blast is a lot less than shooting a 5.56 especially if you're doing it indoors or something so the 45 is a good uh, effective uh, close range out to moderate range you can use it for deer hunting, be just fine. There's some good loads on the market for taking down deer. I like those uh, barns, uh, hollow point bullets that's loaded by Buffalo Barn Double Tap. They load them to high velocities, and that's really effective on, on deer and, and hogs, uh, things in that size range. We'll shoot a little bit, show it how it runs. But anyway, check them out. Uh, if you want to see more detail on them, go to cmmginc.com. One thing I like about this, and most blowbacks won't do that, but the bolt locks open on an empty mag. So you know when you're empty, uh, just like a, a most ARs, but I really like that feature on here. A lot of, a lot of companies, they'll, they'll make a little carbine blowback and they don't go to that trouble. I'm glad they do it on a CMMG.
I really like these Lulas. This up Lula from Mag Lula to help a load of magazines like this. Particularly this 13 round Glock Mag. When you get down to them last three or four rounds, they get pretty hard to, to pop in there. But this thing makes it really easy. If you're loading single stacks, double stacks, don't matter. I keep one of these on the bench all the time and some more scattered around the place because it just uh, makes it a lot easier to load mags. Particularly if you're loading mags all day long, doing a lot of testing or whatever. The Lula really makes it a lot easier on you. Empty, mister? Nope. CMMG carbine has been very reliable, been 100% reliable. Everything I've tried it in, I've shot some plus piece stuff, I've shot hollow points, full metal jacket. Uh, recoil is light, easy to handle, it's uh, familiar. Anybody that knows how to run an AR can run one of these, and it's easy to learn for somebody that don't. You know, if you want something that's real effective around the house, around the farm, or whatever, anything out to 100, 125 yards, something like that, this little 45 is a good choice. And, uh, so I've been real satisfied with it. It's worked really well. The scope has worked really well on this. I love the, the low power. You can leave both eyes open, but you know, a, a little red dot, something like that would be good if someone wants it. But I like this, being able to crank it up to four power if you need a little magnification to get a little further out. But the, the whole unit's been real nice. It's uh, got a good trigger pull on it, just a little over four pounds. Uh, works really well. Had no problems with it, and it's a very effective little carbine.